hello in this video I'm going to show you how you can derive an OLS estimator using matrices so the first thing you have to have your SSR SSR stands for sum of squared residues this is equal to the transpose of epsilon multiplied by epsilon when you see a term has uh, this then it's a transpose matrix because we are doing matrices so uh, the sum of squared residues is equal to the transpose of the epsilon multiplied by epsilon now uh, why are we saying that um, um, the, uh, the the transpose matrix is the same as um, multiplying squares well just to prove that I have this say you have a matrix which is equal to 3 uh, which, uh, which has uh, these 3, 4, and 2. And then you take the transpose of that matrix. This is uh, the transpose of that matrix. And then you multiply the transpose of that matrix to the matrix itself. And then you have this. Notice that uh, when, you're, when you're multiplying, you're going to multiply uh, 3 by 3 plus 4 by 4 plus 2 by 2, which is the same as writing 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 2 squared. That is why we are saying that the sum of squared residues is the same as multiplying the transpose of epsilon with epsilon itself. So, uh, let's begin. So, um, this is the regression equation. You have y equal to x multiplied by beta plus epsilon. Now, when you rearrange this, you are going to find that epsilon is equal to y minus x times beta. But then, when you have epsilon x, epsilon, you are going to have epsilon multiplied by the transpose. You are going to have y minus x multiplied by beta. Then the transpose of all that multiplied by y minus x beta which is just epsilon now when you are multiplying matrices remember this rule um, remember this rule when you have uh, say a minus b multiplied by c everything transposed it is the same as writing a transpose minus c transpose times b transpose this change these two change positions they interchange positions and this is what we are going to do here so here is what we have uh, epsilon transpose multiplied by transpose multiplied by epsilon you have y transpose minus beta transpose x transpose everything and then goes to that when you do your algebra you get to find that now again, here's what you need to know again in matrices. Say you have A transpose multiplied by B transpose multiplied by C. These are matrices. Is it, and this is the same as writing C transpose multiplied by B transpose multiplied by A. So uh, remember these rules that I'm showing you. They can help you when multiplying matrices. So we are going to multiply, we are going to apply this here. Here you have y transpose uh, multiplied by x multiplied by beta minus beta transpose x transpose multiplied by y. So these are just the same. So you are going to add them and then you are going to end up with this. y transpose multiplied by y minus 2 beta transpose x transpose multiplied by y plus beta tra uh, beta transpose x transpose x multiplied by beta now you are going to minimize this our goal when if we want to find uh, when looking for the OLS estimator we have to minimize uh, by the way this is called the objective function ah uh, this is called the objective function so to find beta to find uh, the OLS estimator which is just beta then we are going to minimize this objective function first we had to 
uh, simplify it and then we ended up here now we are going to minimize this how do we do that what we are going to do is that we are going to find the derivative of this with respect to beta we are going to derive this whole thing with respect to beta and then equate it to zero that's how we that's how we minimize a function and this is what i've done here well find the derivative of uh, epsilon uh, of this function with respect to beta so when we derive this here we find that there is no beta so this is just a constant is just zero minus here we here we have two now um remember when deriving this beta is the same as uh, beta to the power one so what we are going to do we are going to get one put it here which is just multiplied by two and then one minus one again it's just going to be zero and any number to the power zero is just one itself so this beta is going to disappear and then you're going to remain with this 2x transpose y plus this is just these two are just the same so this is the same as uh, beta beta squared so when you derive this you're going to have two here this is a term that you are going to get and then of course you do the basic algebra you get you take uh, this to the other side then you multiply both sides by two this is the same way you just cancel these two out again you are going to uh, multiply both sides by x transpose multiplied by x you are going to get this because um, we are interested in finding beta and then you're going to have this beta is equal to x transpose multiplied by y over x transpose x now um this uh is the same as writing one oh sorry this is the same as writing one over x multiplied by yes this is the same as writing one over x transpose x multiplied by x transpose y and uh, if you remember rules of indices when you have uh, this is the same as writing it this way as an inverse so what we are going to do instead of writing this we are going to get this and then write it this way we're going to multiply this to that and then write this way. And this is the OLS estimator. This is how the OLS estimator is and this is how you can derive it. So you have to know the OLS estimator if you are doing your econometrics. Know this OLS estimator. You, you can just memorize it but you need to know how to derive it. So this is where I end. Thank you for watching.